hasta cuándo. Praise be to God, we honor the Lord for another day. This is a new week, and then we set our eyes on the Lord. We set our feet in the direction of our God, and we look unto Him. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs in, and they are saved. I believe that one of the things that God is doing in our lives is to bring us one step at a time closer to him and i came to share something secret with you about the closer walk with god and the benefit thereof amen and amen let me pray over your week may the good lord bless your week may the good lord cause his face to shine on you may god give you strength and speed as you walk through the week in jesus name amen you we still celebrate our mothers amen god bless you let me read um from the book of psalm 84 the book of psalm 84 the bible says here says when they walk through the valley of weeping it will become a place of refreshing spring the autumn rain shall clothe it with blessings hallelujah i want to talk to you about the walk of blessings the walk of blessings praise god amen um, Psalm 84 is a song that uh, the Jewish will call the song of pilgrim or the song of ascension. In other words, they, they don't go to church. Uh, the Jewish people don't go to church to sing. They sing on their way to church. There was a song. They, so they begin the church from home. And when they step out of their house, church begins. And so there's a song they will sing while they are walking into the temple of God. So Psalm 84 is talking about the benefit of walking towards the temple. And I came to speak to you about the blessed life. And one of the things that um, I want you to understand and so you can appreciate is the fact that anybody that depends on God, anybody that gets their daily bread from God, anybody that wakes up to hear a best like this anybody that begins to find the bible finds the word of god finds prayer finds meditation finds a sense of direction from the divine gps of life the bible says that we are heading towards the place we are heading towards god and the book of hebrews we talk about now we set our eyes on him who is the author and the finisher of our faith so the first thing i want you to understand is that anybody that lift up their eyes to God that leaves from the angle of God's direction that begins to walk towards God that begins to yearn after God as the dear pantereth for so my soul long for you so anybody who is hungry for God and takes steps towards God there is something special that God is about to release into your life and that's what I want to share with you he says now when he, that becomes the, the, the posture of your heart when that becomes the destination of your navigation, when God and his house and his presence and his direction and his face becomes the, 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 the fundamental thing that you seek after, he says that when that becomes the basis and the bottom line and, and the main agenda for your life, he says there's something we call the walk of blessings. And that's what I came to release upon you today, the walk of blessings. It says when you walk Walk through the valley of weeping. The valley of weeping is a valley that is part of our lives. David identify valleys and there's a whole teaching on the valleys of life there's what we call the valleys of the shadow of death there's what we call the valley of the dry bones and this is called the valley of weeping and the valley of weeping is a valley where where the things that you are experiencing are things that are painful the valley of weeping represents a walk away from something that you thought was going to be the best one of the things i want to share a quick testimony before i continue one of the things that surprises me is the ways of god none of us can predict where our life will be in 10 years from now because it is so unpredictable anytime i am changing a job anytime i'm changing one location to another i never imagine in 
my possible dreams that I will ever plan it that way. There are unexpected things in life. There are things that happen that we cannot understand, neither can we comprehend. And sometimes they are extremely painful. Sometimes they are excruciating. This is called the valley of weeping. The valley of weeping is when you cannot celebrate anybody because everybody has seemed to disappoint you. The valley of weeping is when you come to a place where the oh my god my god where the very breath of your life seems to be taken out from you the valley of weeping is when you hit your bed and continuously you are crying continuously you are regretting continuously you can't stop being uh, you can't set yourself loose for even a minute the valley of weeping represents a place of dryness a place of 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 hand to mouth a place where you let me say something before i continue the valley of weeping is a place of pretending what does that mean pastor a valley of weeping is a place of pretending because uh, most of us we have been we are, we have been um we have Oscar awards or whatever awards on pretending that you are okay, but you are weeping on the inside. With all the makeups, you are weeping on the inside. With all the selfies, you are weeping. Man is good at weeping on the inside and polish on the outside. Man is good at weeping on the inside and faking it with a smile. All of us at some level are weeping. But I came with the good news on this Monday to tell you that those who have... Who are heading towards the court of our God. The Bible says that the weeping time is about to change. Hallelujah. He said it will become a place of refreshing spring. I confess with my mouth that my weeping moment is about to turn into. He said it will become. He says it will become. Gadea Palato said it will become. Matilisa Makadua. It will become a place of refreshing spring. In other words, it will look like a weeping but it was going to be transformed into a place of refreshing spring. A Oh my, oh my. A place of refreshing spring. The autumn rain will, will clothe it with blessing. I declare in the name of Jesus that your weeping is about to turn to blessing because you are walking in the blessing walk. You are walking towards God. You are walking towards his house. You are walking towards his purpose. You are walking towards his plan. So he says that your weeping valleys is about to turn into a refreshing spring. Let me dive deep into a little bit about refreshing spring and we're going to pray a refreshing spring represent a place of of nourishment a refreshing spring represent a place where there is seems to be peace in your heart there seems to be this bubbling joy in your heart there seems to be a view and an inner joy an inner peace an inner tranquility an inner strength and a joy that comes from the blessed life i declare in the name of jesus that a refreshing of spring will come upon you this is where i believe the psalmist and the the songwriter will say let the dew of heaven descend and bring us a refreshing show us thy glory once more i prophesy in the name of jesus that your valley of weeping is about to turn into a refreshing spring and a blessed life is about to ooze out of you let me tell you you are blessed and you will not be cursed let me tell you you will end well in the name of jesus let me tell you your steps are ordered by the lord let me tell you you are going in the right direction therefore every weeping in your life is about to turn you turn my morning into dancing you turn my sorrow into joy and you turn my morning into laughter i declare in the name of jesus on this monday that your valley of weeping is about to become a refreshing spring and you will be glad you went through and because you are with the lord he will bring you a blessing you are blessed without measure you are blessed without any sorrow added to it father we thank you today we bless you and we embrace it anybody who is going through the valley of weeping i prophesy today that it is about to 
come to pass, says the Lord, when that which was making you cry is going to turn into a spring that will bring a blessing. May your life be refreshed. May your relationship be refreshed. May your family be refreshed. May your heart be refreshed. May your health be refreshed. And may all things work together for your good. In Jesus' name that we love, somebody say amen.